WMAR 2 News Abby Isaacs is live from Bel Air after hearing from county officials about possible concerns about community exposure. Abby? Kelly health officials say there appears to be no major community exposure from this patient here in Harford County, that she did everything right when she got off the plane here in Maryland from her trip in Turkey, self isolating for 12 days before going into the hospital. Even still, health officials say we have a lot more to learn about this novel coronavirus and the county officials here say they're staying on top of it and any recommendations that might be coming down the pipeline. It's a day they were prepared for, not an if, but when. The first case of the novel coronavirus in Harford County. County Executive Barry Glassman says an 86 year old woman is hospitalized after contracting the virus while traveling overseas. Public health officials report that there appears to be no community exposure. That's because health officials report the woman went straight home from the airport, did not have symptoms for six days and self isolated for six more days after showing symptoms before she went to the hospital. During this entire time, the patient states she did not leave her house and did not come into contact with people except for her immediate family who have shown no symptoms and who are being asked to self-isolate and self-monitor for 14 days. Harford County Health Officer Russell Moy said her initial symptoms were not respiratory like most COVID-19 patients. She instead had fatigue and loss of appetite. And because she did not have those symptoms on the plane or for the first six days back in Maryland, she did not fall into the CDC's criteria for a person under investigation. However, health officials are still learning about the virus and how people can catch it. The CDC says people are thought to be most contagious when they're showing symptoms, but some spread might be possible before that. As these cases begin to develop and, and the state gives us additional information on the range of influence or the range of travel uh, of, of the individuals, then we will get guidance locally on what we need to do next, if anything. As of now, the county's public school system and the county government are operating as usual with no cancellations, but they are taking some new precautions. I'll have more on those coming up at 6 tonight on WMAR 2 News. For now, live in Bel Air, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News.